Welcome everyone, my name is Fausto from Fausto Home Living. Today we're gonna to make a new episode of how to make Italian broccoli rabe. It is a simple dish, it's easy, it's delicious. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. All right, so we got our broccoli rabe, we got our salt, we have our pepper, we got our garlic, and we got our olive oil. All right, first thing we do is we're gonna cut the ends off because these are a little, obviously a little dirty. We're gonna cut these off, throw them out. Next thing we're gonna do, very, very important. We're gonna take the leaves off and we're gonna cut the stems out. We gotta keep them separate because the stems take a little bit longer to cook. Once we get the stems off and we get the leaves, we're gonna cook the stems first. Once they cook a little bit longer, get them nice and soft. Then we're gonna throw the leaves and the heads off. So, what we need to do, take off all these stems and these branches, cut the tops off, put the stems on one side, leaves on the other. Just keep doing it. Take the stem, take the leaves off. You see how you have a big stem? Cut it off, put the stem there, leaves over there. Leaves there. Stems there. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the stems, we're gonna cook these. Probably it's gonna take about three minutes. You have to be very careful because you wanna overcook them. They do take longer than the leaves. This cooks really, really fast. So we're gonna drop these in, we're gonna boil them, like I said, for about three minutes. Once we start seeing them green, we'll actually feel them, see if they're a little soft. Once they're done, we're gonna take them, we're gonna blanch them. And that's the key to making broccoli rabe taste good. Because with the problem with broccoli rabe, if people don't like it, it tastes very bitter. I'm gonna show you how to not make it bitter. This is the key. Let's drop these in here. Let it cook. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get the blanch ready. So we're gonna get our big pack of ice right here. We have our sink, you could do this in a bowl, whatever you want, but the key is we have to cool down the broccoli rabe immediately because what's gonna happen is it's gonna overcook. When you take it out after boiling, it's gonna get softer, it's gonna lose its beautiful color, and it's gonna lose its flavor. So the blanching is going to basically cool it down immediately and stop it from cooking. Basically, we're taking the stems, we're feeling them a little bit, they're still a little firm. They, like I said, they take a little bit longer to cook than the leaves. That's why you have to cook them separately because what's gonna happen is if you cook them all together, the leaves are gonna cook, the stems are not gonna cook, the stems are gonna taste bitter, they're gonna be too crunchy, the leaves are gonna be overcooked, so you gotta keep them separate. All right, now we're gonna cook the leaves and the heads. These cook fast, I would say maybe close to a minute to two minutes. Remember, you don't wanna overcook them. They're not like the stems that, because they're a little bit more firm, so you gotta keep an eye on them. Once we start seeing them get soft, nice and bright green, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna throw them in the ice. Going good. Now we're gonna take the broccoli rod that we just heated, the heads, and we're gonna, we're gonna blanch them. So basically, I want you to see the color of the water. You see how green it is? Basically, this is the bitterness that people, why they don't like broccoli rod. They take it taste bitter. You have to boil them and get all that bitterness out, because that, what some people do, they do the opposite. They basically just saute it, which is what we're gonna do next. So the key is you blanch them, you boil them short term, put them in ice, let them cool off, and now we're gonna cook them in our nice little garlic and olive oil. All right, now we're gonna slice our garlic. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the saute. We're gonna get our olive oil, Get it on there. We get our garlic. Did 
that cook for a little bit. Now, if you want it spicy, you definitely want to try the Fausto Italian Calabrese Cherry Peppers. Gives it a nice little flavor. You could use pepper flakes, but Italian roasted cherry peppers are the best way to go if you want to make anything spicy. I'm going to use that. If you like your broccoli rabe a little spicy, this is what you want to use. Okay, we we'll throw our broccoli in there. Some salt. Some pepper. Mmm. Perfect. And that's it, we're done. Thank you everyone, my name is Fausto from Fausto Home Living. You just learned how to make Italian broccoli rabe. Just make sure you like us and friend us and watch more videos here at Fausto Home Living.